Hi, my name is Tom Reynolds. I currently work at Thunderbird Adventist Academy as STEM department chair. I've been a teacher, IT director, and corporate trainer for the past 18 years. Well, at NASA's Johnson Space Center, I was introduced to learning management systems, and I quickly recognized their value in education. So when I returned to the classroom, I started exploring methods of incorporating an LMS and other technology tools into a school that had limited technology options and even more limited funding. Today, I run a paperless classroom where my students use cell phones and free tools like Google Apps, which has helped them prepare to become workers in the future world. I want to become a Google trainer because there are so many teachers who are still uncomfortable with integrating technology. They need help. Through sharing my successes, many of my setbacks, and how I've improved technology integration in my own classroom using Google products, I hope to show many of these teachers possible solutions that don't break the bank. I'm excited about sharing what Google and their apps product has to offer. The product I want to share with you is Tour Builder. I use Tour Builder in my own classroom to take students on virtual field trips to places that they normally would have no chance of seeing. This summer, I took a trip to the island of Madro. I want to show my students what Madro looks like. So I'm going to add some photos. If you click on Add Photos and Videos, you can choose photos from your own album or YouTube. You can upload photos, or you can search for a photo. I've already searched for some photos from Madro. I'm going to click on the photos I would like to share with my students and then click Select to add those photos to the stack. Now I'd like to add a video. So again, I'm going to search for YouTube of Madro. And here's one I think is pretty cool. We're going to do a quick flyover. I'm going to click on the video and click Select and add that to the stack. I'm done editing. Let's see what it looks like. Here are some of the pictures, the island. If I click, I can very quickly scroll through some of the pictures, and now I have an idea of what Madro looks like. And even better yet, the YouTube video. If I click on that, it will take me directly there. I can see a very thin island, lush, tropical. It just gives me a little bit of an understanding of what it might be like to live on the island of Madro.